Welcome to Toy Polloi. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Ploy. Now if you collect Star Wars figures there's one figure that is very hard to find in good condition and that is Max Rebo. Normally when you find a Max Rebo he looks a lot like this one. The uh, blue colouring that should be in his limbs has faded away over time and they end up looking white. You can see here on this Max Rebo that because he sits inside his piano the whole time his legs are still a reasonable shade of blue but his arms and head have gone white. So for a long time I've been thinking there must be a way to uh, stop this or reverse it and make him blue again and I've been trying a few things over the last sort of six months to see if this is possible. Now the reason I started looking into this was that uh, Eust Dirks uh, sent me a picture that he'd uh, taken of a Max Rebo that he'd cut in half uh, and you can clearly see that the uh, the blue sort of colouring of the plastic is still visible inside the head. I'll put up a picture now so you can see. And the just the outer surface of the plastic has lost the tinting and it goes white. So I thought I'd try a few things. Now first up, because uh, you, when you collect Star Wars figures, a lot of people write their names as kids on the bottom of the feet and the ink generally stains the plastic. So I thought I'd give it a try. I bought some marker pens like this and I tried colouring it on the Max Rebo. And I have to say, it made very little difference. It stained it a little bit, but not really as much as I'd hoped. So I thought I'd try something else. I bought some sort of ink. This is a fountain pen ink, and I uh, left Max Reba here floating in a bath of uh, this ink. Uh, and again, nothing happened. I left him in there for a week, nothing happened. So I've been reading up online uh, to see what other people have used and uh, I found that uh, a common fix for pinball machines is when you're repairing pinball machines that you can dye the parts. Now to do this you use a special dye which is this stuff called Ritz dye. So I picked up myself some Ritz dye and I'm now going to give it a try. This involves boiling the uh, plastic in a mixture of this and water for a good long time. So let's give this a go and see what happens to Max Rebo. So I bought this sort of teal blue. Uh, it was the closest colour match I could find. Some of the other blues are a lot darker, more like the uh, RIT logo there. So uh, we'll just have to give this a go and we'll see what happens. It may or may not work, but these things are always worth giving a try. So I started by mixing the RIT powder into some freshly boiled water and mixing it up and getting it to the simmering point. At that point I then dropped in Max Rebo and let him simmer for five minutes, uh, checking him occasionally. After five minutes it really looked like not a lot had happened to him, so I left him in for a further ten minutes. Again, he'd started to slowly go a little bit blue, but not really that much. So after that I then left him in for a full half an hour, uh, and by that point it, you could actually notice that the blue dye was starting to take. So I then turned him over and left him float face down for a further 30 minutes until I thought that the colour was about even enough. So in total he had an hour in the simmering writ dye, half an hour for the front and half an hour for the back. At that point I then took him out of the water. You do have to be careful because he's been in simmering boiling water for an hour so he is very hot and the plastic is also very soft so when I came to wash him in cold water his head actually popped off because it had become so soft but that was an easy thing to pop back on. Uh, again I then dried him and I let him stand on a bit of uh, paper for a good couple of hours because he had filled up with blue dye uh, and that was dribbling out uh, of his uh, body cavity. So now that's all done, let's take a look at the fully dyed version of Max Rebo. Here we have my one from my collection, so you can see the pale upper body and arms that he's got there. Uh, his legs are still a, a little bit blue on this one. And here is the one that I've dyed in the writ dye. As you can see, it's actually come out a remarkably good colour. I wasn't expecting it to look that good, uh, but the end result is pretty nice. It's a little bit more muted, uh, the blue, than the original blue. If we turn these two around, you can see he's slightly more muted, but the overall effect is pretty good. You can see there are some little marks in the plastic. Where the plastic has sort of imperfections, the dye has gone in a little bit stronger, so there's a slight sort of blue line there and on his leg. But overall, it's really not that bad. Uh, a, a dye job. I'm actually pretty pleased with this. I never expected it to go this sort of good a colour. So let's put him in his piano and we can see him in action. And as you can see there, that's a pretty good result. If I can find another Max Rebo uh, in a sort of similar condition to this one, I will try this again because I think I might be able to get it a more accurate colour uh, with a bit more practice. But uh, as this is my first go, that's a pretty good result.
So if you've enjoyed this restoration and would like to help out uh, Toy Ploy, then please check out my Patreon page where you can uh, become a Patreon and uh, help me fund and produce more and better videos. So it turns out that you can dye the plastic of these Star Wars figures. It takes quite a while, but it does work. And I think with some more effort and practice, we can get Max Rebo looking a lot better. So for now, I hope this video has been of interest and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Toy Ploy. Subscribe for more great videos. You can also follow Toy Poloi on Twitter and Facebook.